Hello guys, how's it going? It's Mahdi Mishrafi from the Food Biz Talk. I hope you're all doing excellent. So in this video today, I want to be talking about this one topic, this one movement, which many people in the UK and many of the countries they're going through is called vegan diets, aka the plant-based diet. I'm pretty sure they're both the same thing. So what vegan basically is, is consumers who do not consume any animal products. So they do not consume any eggs, then they're basically a step ahead of vegetarians. So they did, do not uh, consume anything that comes out of an animal or, or contains any animal ingredients. What I want to be talking about today is if you have a restaurant or a takeaway, should you be looking into the vegan cuisine? Should you be implementing vegan stuff into your into your business? And will that increase sale? And will that help your business reach its next goal? Next. So before I start, I want to be talking about my takeaway itself. So I've got, like I mentioned previously, my many of the videos. So thankfully, thank God, I have two takeaways and they're both franchised. The second takeaway, uh, we are focusing, uh, we focus both on meat eaters and non-meat eaters. Uh, but um, as we have implemented the vegan, so we do have a vegan menu on that. And so far, we've launched in March and we believe the vegan consumers so far right now it might change in the future who knows but right now the vegan customers are our it's pretty much 50 50 i think so with the meat eaters and the vegan consumers we weren't really expecting that many demand for our food from the vegan customers but thankfully uh, thank god it was uh, it, it exceeded our expectation and hopefully it continues the vegan uh, cuisine especially with my cuisine the indian cuisine there's not many restaurants that kind of they do do it. So after after that, many restaurants and takeaways have been implementing it. Uh, I'm not saying we were the first. There was other ones before us, but we were prop. I think I would say we were the first to actually dive head into it. You know, so we were properly looking into it, like thoroughly and marketing and branding it, etc. Due to that, we did get a few vegan customers, and we're very thankful for that. City, especially in Cardiff, um, it's a very student city, and I do believe the vegan the vegan people that are mainly vegans uh, they're usually student aged so because we have a lot of university campuses and it's a very student city as I said before uh, I think the population of vegans within that range of students is high so I think is uh, the city you're in the country or the county you're in is really uh, dependent on whether or not you should consider implementing vegan food into your menu uh, one thing the vegan the vegan um, vegan cuisine does it allow it really makes you work with what you have it's very limited in what you can have uh, but the things it, it really depends on the chef and your mindset and and, the, and how creative you are with ingredients and stuff so it's the true I, I believe with the vegan food is the true reflection of uh, how good of a chef you are how good of a team you are because you, you you're very limited with the, with what you have all you're not very um there's more and more products which are coming out that are vegan and in, in the future it's only going to increase in my opinion so so obviously it'll be easier to be creating more delicious dishes more with us how it worked is once we created one thing it, it led on to another thing we're like oh we could do this we could do that and then it just it just scaled from there and is also a new movement so many restaurants and takeaways within the UK uh, Domino's uh, Starbucks recently um, they're basically launching McDonald's as well <laughs> they basically see this as a massive opportunity as well that's why they are releasing a bunch of vegan food a lot of vegan food if you keep up with the news so that just goes to show that in the UK especially the amount of vegan consumer there is is high and the market is ever increasing so if you do if you do produce vegan food, I think it's a good idea to also be looking at eco-friendly packaging, so cardboard instead of plastic or recyclable plastic if you can. Uh, so with our vegan uh, business, uh, we we should do more eco-friendly containers, but we are not. We're actually using plastic, but I think uh, if you do decide to do uh, vegan, I think we're using eco-friendly containers, uh, cardboard containers uh, is the way to go, and uh, it just shows customers Customers that you're serious about their concerns. Look into your cuisine if you're a pizza cuisine, if you're fried chicken place, look into it. There's a lot of fake meats as well. So uh, we do have a lot of fake meat chicken curries and stuff. We use corn and we use other things. There's tofu as well, which we don't use, I don't think. Um, and 
Uh, the main reason I say that is because that vegan restaurant is managed by someone else. So I have ownership, I do some of the work, but the actual operation, food uh, production and, and purchasing is done by some the, the other owner of that business. So yeah, guys, look into if your cuisine, if you could expand and uh, get a few vegan dishes. And if you can, then obviously market it, brand it. And if it's unique, then happy days it should hopefully increase your business even further so it's just something which is going to increase in the future and i don't think it's something that we should overlook and if you have the opportunity to be making the most out of it then go ahead and do it that's my video for today guys hopefully you liked it hopefully you took something out of it uh, make sure to drop a subscribe and a like all right until next time peace